Jen, I try to <clears throat> flip it around and just not, um, just duplicate it, but you could not see it with the black. And no matter what I did, you couldn't see it. So I had to bring in another version of the image. Welcome to another drawing video. Now it's been a while since I've done one of these because I fall in and out of artistic creative thoughts. Now this particular drawing took me about an hour and a half, so let's get into this. This has been a drawing that I've been thinking about doing for a while because my grandma has been trying to get me into watercolor, watercolor painting because she thinks I'd be good at it and I'd enjoy it, but um... I'm more of an acrylic painter and a digital artist, so when she was trying to convince me to get into watercolor painting with these watercolor colored pencils that you then water down with like a very lightly wet paintbrush to activate the watercolor, this idea to do this drawing popped in my head. and. I don't know why today I decided to do it, and I'm also wearing a dragon shirt, so maybe I finally was like, oh I have time to do it, and so I'm just going to sit down and do it, and as you can see, it's shaping up to be a yin yang, and this isn't me trying to like step on anybody's culture or anything, it's just an idea I had in my head, and I put it down to digital art, finally. I've had this idea in my head for about two months now, maybe a little longer, <clears throat> and some reason today I finally decided, you know what, I'm gonna do it. And also, this drawing later becomes a bit of Iron Flame inspired. If any of you have heard of that book, it's the second book to the Fourth Wing series, and it's about dragon riders and the culture that they deal with, and the bond between rider and dragon. So that kind of inspired me to make this drawing as well. So on top of being inspired by my grandma and her push to get me to enjoy watercolor painting, I was also inspired by the book I'm currently reading. I have no idea when I'm gonna finish Iron Flame. I really don't. It's 757 pages. And I'm only on 590, I think. And I'm also buddy reading it with a friend who always seems to squeak by ahead of me in pages. So, <laughs> so that's part of my thought process making this drawing as well. A reason I think digital art is really fun is it's a lot more forgiving than most art forms, you can try out different things and different effects, and you can make a mess and then just hit a button and it's like you never made that mistake, so I like it too. Now, I originally was going to have an outline, but I decided I didn't like the way it looked, at least not as it stood then. Looking at it in recording, it kind of looks like I just cut out the shape of the yin yang through the black and there's just this white void on the other side. That was not my intent. Excuse me, I just got to need a pizza. That was not my intention, but that's kind of how it's looking. It looks like I made the whole background black and then just whited it out where I wanted it, but as you can see, that wasn't what happened. I am terrible at drawing like circles or trying to fix them. I don't know what it is, I think I'm slightly shaky, especially when I'm trying to like get something down nicely, which doesn't help things. Here I am again trying to bring in some decorations. This drawing doesn't look like it would have taken me very long, but it's more of like trying to figure out what I want things to come out looking like and how well I think it looks. So, this drawing that you would think would take maybe 10 minutes took me an hour and 30 because I just couldn't figure out how I wanted it to look. And I was also playing around with a lot of effects and stuff. But 
Yeah, I'm really happy with how the final drawing came out, but you'll see that in a while later. <clears throat> and you'll also see why I say that it's kind of Iron Flame inspired, and why my shirt is kind of fitting for the occasion, because it's a couple of dragons back to back. So, I wanted to do like the yin yang coming out from behind each other with like the black on the side where it's supposed to be mainly white and the white on the side where it's supposed to be mainly black but it was like it looks so plain and so bright i'm gonna try to add like some design in the background and make it stand out a little more because the main focus and what draws your eye is supposed to be the yin yang but as it stood without the swirlies it just kind of looked plain and flat and I ended up scrapping this bit a little later because I didn't like how the swirlies inside the yin yang were looking. I like what I did a lot more <laughs> than what it started as. I just thought it looked really flat and wasn't happy with it as is so I was trying different things and it didn't work out very well. <laughs> Anytime you see my like cursor go off to the side, I'm going through like um, adding backgrounds or clicking on like masks and stuff, because this is all done with like a mask tool in in the editor I use. So you can see me moving the opacity and stuff. I don't know what it is about digital art that's so relaxing. Here I'm trying to make everything pop with like an outline on the swirlies. I loved how the red looked. <clears throat> I went through like all the different colors trying to see, but for some reason the red just worked. I don't know if to me red and black and white just go really good together, but I went through like the whole dial of colors and that's what I settled on. And here again I'm trying to make the yin yang look a little less flat by playing around with like the different effects and touching some stuff up where I didn't want red to be because I put an outline around the whole yin yang. This process was just so much fun and I'm so happy with how the final drawing came out. Right after adding the like outer glow as like a shadowy color it definitely made the yin yang stand out but it still looks flat which is why you see me going through with different effects and trying to see what makes it. This effect where it got a little yellowy was... Oh, I forget what I did. It wasn't hue colorize, but it was shift or something. I also think that making the yin yang slightly like cream colored or off white made it stand out even more from the background, which was my goal in this whole thing. And then I'm trying to figure out what to do with the background to make it less flat and stand out more. And this right here is what's known as a cloud effect, but I didn't end up liking it, so I chose caustic, which is like watery and everything. And I liked how that looked a little more because it was there, but it was subtle. So I ended up staying with that, but then I was like, it doesn't show up on the white side. So there's me trying to figure out how to get the caustic to show up on the right side. So I put a gradient map on it and just slid it all the way over. And now you can see more of the caustic. And look how much more it's standing out. It looks so much better. <clears throat> it looks so much better now that it's standing out more. I added more caustic on that side in white. I didn't want it um, blue because that was clashing with the red. And I'm back to the swirlies trying to make them look a little more into the drawing. And adding a little more of the caustic on the black side. Which I did leave blue on the black side because it stood out more than it would have originally. And I still think at this point it's missing something and now it feels like the yin yang is just plain. <laughs> so I'm going through and I'm looking for, like, a dragon that I want to incorporate into the yin yang, which is where the fourth wing inspiration comes from. So I just found, like, a generic dragon 
on Google Images, and I'm trying to import it into the drawing. I thought the red looked cool, so I wanted to lean into that idea to also bring more red into the yin yang itself because of the swirls. So I was playing around with that and how to incorporate it, and then I accidentally clicked on an, uh, one of the versions to like dissolve it in, and I thought that looked so cool. So then I'm just cleaning up the lines that I don't want outside of the yin yang. And working that in. Going transparent really helped with this part because against the background you really couldn't see it. And then I tried to <coughs> flip it around and just not, um, just duplicate it, but you could not see it with the black. And no matter what I did, you couldn't see it. So I had to bring in another version of the image after trying to lighten the yin yang, which didn't help. And I ended up settling on like doing an outline because it's automatically red. And I was like, that looks cool because you can still see the white and all of that stuff. So then I went through and cleaned up the outline of that so it wouldn't be like where it shouldn't be. Does that make sense? Like I wanted the like red dark dragon to be on the dark side. I wanted the red dragon that's white to be on the white side because I just wanted it to be vague that it's there and then I was trying to get like it wasn't finished yet at this point it looked better but it didn't look fully finished and so I was trying to come up with ways to make it look a little more stand out because I was trying to put like a cloud effect over the whole drawing and for some reason it just would not work like I tried putting it on the yin yang and then did that I tried putting it on the background and it just pushed back so I had to save the whole drawing and then the, the whole thing glitched out I don't know where the drawing went when I saved it so I had to re-import the whole drawing in and just add the cloud effect later and then you get the finished drawing after I mess with the cloud effect. And there we go. That's the final drawing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!